Hail GZ here, and I want to bring up an issue with Duel Links that I've been wanting the Venival for a long time. And that's the overabundance of complete power creep these last few sets. Now I'm okay with really powerful cards during the game. But when they make climbing unfun, I understand a meta deck is a meta deck. It's going to be the way that it is. People are competitive. They're going to try hard at the game. But I'm not one of those try hard players that like to play the best shit um, in the meta. Like, I'm not one of those guys. I like to have fun. And casual duels is basically like a dead thing. No one really plays casual duels. And sometimes you get those assholes that would literally try hard in a casual duel just to troll you. And it sucks that there's not really a, um, a permanent legacy format unless you're entering duel rooms. And uh, it's a big problem. And um, like I like um, playing combo decks like like Jack or don't think of as much as the next guy. But when you have a deck like Ancient Warriors is ultra consistent, ultra. Consistent. They just released Red Eyes. They just released this fucking set. Like, remember, remember when they released this this set here? Remember? Remember when they released this? Remember when people were playing Blue Eyes for the last few hours, few weeks or whatever? You know, like people were playing Blue Eyes. People were all over Blue Eyes' dick, right? And that's kind of the problem. Like, people will get these cards, right? But the polls mean nothing because a lot of time you would be spending. Ah, oh, shit, I mean, the. Oh, shit. This, whatever. Cancel. Can we use that? Oops. Not bad. But yeah, anyway, that's my problem with the game. Like, you know, it's not really fun. Like, it's FL Punk Packs. There's nothing fun about the game anymore to me. The only fun I have is when I make these tournaments. For the zero gem shit. And outside of that, I have like no fun playing this. It's not fun to rank up. There's zero motivation to do any ranking up whatsoever. But I'm trying to pull a freaking effect failure. The game won't even give me that. Like, bro. Like, I pulled like six packs. It's like a 1 in 26 chance to fucking get it. God damn it. Fucking shitty. Like, fucking crap. Oh, fuck this. What a load of garbage. Look, look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that. And the thing is, they make these packs intentionally so you have to spend money on them. Like, I remember the first mini boxes from, like, back in the day. If they made that fucking, um... If they made that box, right? You know the one that we're playing, the new box right now? Like, the old ones where they have fucking 80 packs in it? Bro, I'd fucking be playing the mini boxes. I remember back then... When they made the mini boxes, like Clash of Wings, for example, is a great example of a good fucking mini box. A great example of a mini box done right is when you have literally, literally a box that has all the monsters you need in basically like a very few poles. It's so it was so easy to get for hires. The Amazons are ridiculous. That that's a good box. Like that's an actual like a good box. Now when you look at something like this, like the the Battle of Titans, just the box I pulled from when I was when I first played the game. Fucking eighty, fucking eighty, uh, eighty packs. You are as easy. You have a one in eighty chance to pull it, which is really good. Of course, the cards in here were dog shit. Like I'm not gonna deny that. Cards are duty. Like I'm not gonna hold you to that. But this box is a joy to pull from, and this is a really good set. <coughs> and now, if you look at the mini boxes later on, you'll notice that you know, the theme. This is an 80 card box. These are the old sets, these are way old. But now, we're gonna go back to the new ones. We're gonna go back to the new shit now. We're gonna go back to the. 
We're gonna go back to the new shit now. We're gonna go back to like the way new stuff now. So now we're gonna go to the new stuff. Now we're gonna go to the part where like it starts getting 200 packs. And they start putting more packs in them. Well, this is the first one, obviously, but like I think there was one before that that did 100. Yeah, this did also did 100. This is the when this is when they started putting 100 in the box, I believe. Emperor Scarlet still, yeah, Emperor Scarlet. So they started doing 100. When they started doing uh, uh, Emperor Scarlet after Clash of Wings, and they made their next mini box, I hated the fact that they made it 100 cards. Because now not only do you have a 1 in 100 chance instead of the versus the one, 1 in 180. Now you have to basically pull fucking 3 of them. And it sucked because you had to pull 3 which you had to spend more gems on it. So in order to make an X, some of these cards come from older boxes. And some of them, you know, you have to have like one of these like make it thing, you know, make it whatever boxes the new... And you look at a box like this and, you know, or whatever. And you look, look at a box like the the new special thing where it's like, okay, which is... Hey, look at this Clash of Meteor set. Look what they do here. Look what they fucking do. It's so snaky. They put one here, one here. And then they do pretty much the add like the... Like, these are really snaky. Look at this. It's so snaky what they do. Like, look at this, bro. Like, look at... This is a... You, these are key cards to the deck. You need three of these. Why the fuck are you putting the key cards that you are... Oh, wait. So you spend more money, obviously. Konami's got a bunch of money. Why do they need to do this? What's the fucking point? And then you need three of the spell, obviously. You need three of it. There's no denying that you need three of the fucking spell. You need three of Tanky, because they're all beast warriors, these fucking things. All these shits are like fucking beast wars. You need the fucking tanky for that. So you need three of that, and you need three of this Sean, and then you need three of that. Then you need three of this fucker. You can run it with two, but like it's not going to be as good as running it with three. And then the, even the loner deck recommends three. The loner deck in the game recommends three. This you're pouring a lot of cash into this game. It is ridiculous, and every time I want to like invest in a deck, the problem is if I stop playing for a few months, my decks are basically dead or have been nerfed because of a limitless, and I can no longer are no longer playable. Are no longer playable because of the limit list. I mean, I like the rest of the meta, but it's so stale because I like playing this Noodle Ninja, so I at least take... I, 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 I'm at fault for that. I shouldn't play it because I should just play a dragon that could just easily get my cogs or whatever. The problem is it's boring. I mean, I don't, I don't like doing that. It's boring. It's not fun. It's not a fun way to get cog, and I want the cog run to be enjoyable. And because it's not enjoyable, because people are playing these disruption decks, like, in, in the speed duel format, it is basically blue eyes, this thing, I made, I made it's busted, bro, and red eyes is pretty busted, but he, again, you need three of this, you need three of this to fucking play. You could probably play it with one, but it would suck, you might as well just have three of this. You need three of it. I mean, this deck did offer a lot of, like, good extra deck material monsters. Like, it's good. Like, they're releasing good stuff. Like, they're releasing good extra deck monsters. <coughs> like, look at this. This is clearly, like, a power creep from, like, the fucking... This is clearly like demanding cards, like Master of Blades. Like this is a generic. This is a generic negate, and this is a quick effect. So now here's where the problem comes. If you haven't gotten these old sets and you haven't like bought some of this old crap, you're gonna be you're not gonna be able to compete. Like you're gonna need the hand traps, and hand traps are probably gonna be a big part of this um, format in the next coming years. 
for Duel Links. It's a real big problem when you need stuff like like this. You're gonna probably be seeing a lot of this because like. I'm gonna read this card too, and if you have not gotten it, well, you should get it now. You need to get it. You have to get this now. If you want to get it, get it now. It's very important that you get this card. Cannot be normal summon a set. Must be special summon me by tributing all face up monsters that activated their effects this turn. In your opponent's monster zone, gain 1500, gains 1500 attack for each monster tributed. Special summon this card. During the end phase, you can target one monster in your opponent's grave, but especially this is your field. So, basically what this card allows you to do is it allows you just to... It's... This game's becoming goldfish. Like, you're gonna need this card, because a lot of the cards coming up... I literally visioned this would happen. Like, I knew there would be a bunch of quick effects. And as you can see, all these are quick effects. Look at this, quick effects. During either element, look at this. Either, either during you either turn, look at this. Either turn, either turn. Like so many these are like either turn. Yeah, and hold on. Not even that. The trap cards that the amazement have. These are like quick effects, dude. These are like not the amazing, but like these cards, like these things, these are all quick effects, my guy. Like all these things, like all these ancient wars, these are quick effects. A lot of these. It says when you control them, when your opponent's gonna target this card for attacks, you're gonna do da da. Yeah, and, and all that, and if an ancient warrior is also except right there, step, then hold on. Then you got stuff like this, so let me find it. Not this, so I'm trying to find it. One sec, it's the rare, yeah, there it is. Then you got these, if you target one thing, you send it to the graveyard, then send one ancient warrior from the spell trap, and you deck your hand, and yeah, and you can just like, these, and there's the hand trap, which is a, a quick effect, again, a quick effect. If you're in these, all these effects, they can activate on your, on your, um, uh, all these things, all these things can activate their effects. Like all these are like, mm, all these are disruption. Then there's like the, the, the spell. It's from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard of self travel, you can press someone one ancient warrior monster from your hand. You can only use this effect for one sure. So I'll go to revisit. Let's turn. But hold on, it gets worse. It gets fucking worse with this shit. It gets worse. So. Yeah, there's in the gate, there we go. And there's like disruption, okay. If this is added to your deck to your hand, we a special summon, right? And then hold on, let me make sure I'm like understanding this correctly. Just to make sure I'm not making myself look like an idiot in front of like a few hundred people. Few hundred people that probably watch this. Now let's read this again. Cannot be enormous on attributing all face up monsters during if they activated their effects is turned in your opponent's monster zone. Attributing all if they activated their effects in this turn in your opponent's monster zone. Oh, so it needs to be there. Okay, probably. This card is gonna come in big handy later on. You're probably gonna need two or three of it. Because if you look at the other stuff, like you look at the, some of the cards that have quick effects. Like fucking tanky and all this shit. Like you look at some of the stuff that's been released. Like you look at some of the stuff. Some of these, like, like some of these quick effects are just annoying. Like half the. Like look at this. Here's again. Here again. This is here again. 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 <coughs> quick effect. That's a quick effect. When you negate, you just tribute it, get rid of it. Someone, oh, there's a lot of these quick effects coming up. We're reaching the territory in Duel Links where quick effects are big. It's going to be a big part of the game and we're not going to be able to stop it. 
Look at these quick effects. There's a lot of these. You see the common theme here. They're slowly introducing these quick effects and disruptions that make the game. What I don't like about Master Duel when I don't play it much. That's why when I play Master Duel, I'm gonna segue to Master Duel now. So when I play Master Duel, I literally turn off my brain and use Numeron that Numerons because it's just such a brainless deck. You just get through the games and when you can't win, you just forfeit and that's it. But with this sort of deck. Look at these. Yeah. Quick <coughs> again, again, again. All the quick. They see the common theme, right? They release another during the either person's turn thing, and then the moment they start doing that, the more they're gonna be starting to do that. You see how they're slowly introducing the quick effects in the game. They're starting to introduce these quick effects that break the game. Again, a quick effect. You see? This is why I don't like this game. It's gonna be become like a Master Duel with less steps. With less turns in it. Slightly less turns in it. Because of the limited amount of space on your field. Now, if you want a card to invest in, um, as a good hand trap for Duel Links, currently, this is basically the probably one of the probably going to be one of the niches kaiju's or sides you could probably use, but it's definitely a really good kaiju. I'm gonna this card right here again. This is the one I recommend if you want to like get a good hand trap. Draw. Oh, it's not that guy. Sorry. But this Sean is going to be so useful. And it's going to introduce so much tease. So not only do you get a free guy, you get a free dude on your field. It's going to it's gonna become like Master Duel. Just watch it a few months. This shit is going to be so bad. Like, I'm just going to hate this. This game's going to suck. Like, look at this crap. Like, like what do you mean? What do you mean this game is good? Are you kidding me? This game's the worst. This game is dog doo doo. It's becoming more like Master Duel. And the whole point of this game was to not become like Master Duel. And what do we do? We make it like Master Duel. We make it like Master Duel. And that's my big problem with this game. Is that it's becoming more like Master Duel. And maybe you all don't agree with me yet. But you'll see a common theme. As you know, there was a lot of quick effects released. There's not much quick effects yet. But as you notice, they're slowly releasing the quick effects into the game. Here we go. Quick effect. Twins. That's a popular deck, right? That's literally a popular deck. It has quick effects in it, correct? Am I missing something? Yeah. It encourages people to go into an old box and dig for an old card. That's the common theme. It's an anti-meta card that people don't see and it sucks because you're going to probably have to play it because a lot of the decks are going to be playing a lot of quick effects. And what makes it annoying is you think that's the problem with this game. Dual Links has a 20 to 30 card ratio. The odds of drawing what you're going to need is going to be less consistent as all hell because you decided to run a hand trap that is literally reliance on your opponent having a quick effect. Or You're going to be just running a bunch of hand traps and just an engine with the hand traps in it. And you, I don't know, it's just so stupid to me. Like, why? I've been playing this game since it came out. Um, I've been playing Rush Duels, I've been enjoying that a little bit. But the high for Rush Duels sort of died out for me. Like, it's just not fun. Literally having a Veiler in this game completely changes everything. In the Chinese version, there's Ash Blossom, and that's not even good in that version because there's not much stuff in it. But yeah, Effect Veiler is a big deal. And the best part about Duel Links is you only need one or two of it. You don't need three. 
But that's kind of the problem. We're running into a thing where we're going to be running out of deck space because we need to put our fucking hand traps. It's absolutely the most annoying shit when you have to run hand traps because it makes the games not short. It make, it's not quick matches at this point. It's just annoying. And then like you, and then it's a best of one. Like there's no on the ladder. It's best of one. You get a deck that counters you. You can get a deck that counters you. Sometimes I've enjoyed playing this game up to this point. I'm still gonna host the zero gen tournaments. I'm still gonna do all that because that's fun as shit, and I love hosting that. And it's fun to like do that. But the problem is the 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 the, the motivation to rank up in the current game is significantly <coughs> lowering for me. And the justification of getting these minor amount of gems is completely utterly worthless if I don't have fun doing it. I want to play a game to have fun. Not to grind and feel like I have to work. I go to work to work. I don't play games to work. I was playing this game called Palia the other day. It's a lot of work and a lot of grinding, but the grinding is fun and it's a very chill experience to stream Palia. I love Duel Links very much and I still love the game. The problem is I just don't really enjoy the metagame. There have been metas that have been complete shit. You notice all the metas I've liked, I have played in. In fact, all the metas I have enjoyed, I have played in. All the metas I enjoyed, I mostly got the legend or cogged. But the last few metas, it's just been, it's been doo doo. Like I don't want to even care about ranking up. There's no point. I have zero incentive to rank up because I don't enjoy the meta game. If the meta game ain't fun, as Reggie once put it, if it's not fun, why bother? Reggie Fizzimay puts it very good, and I agree with his statement. If it's not fun, why bother playing? When I play Master Tool, I'm doing it for a couple hours to turn off my brain and just click click buttons. To just use New World Nightcore to just spam monsters and just hit for game. The reason why I... Well, I think a lot of the people that is a New World player share the same sentiment. They, they just want an easy deck to get quick wins you know what? It kind of does that for them. And I'm happy for the new more players that do it. Yeah, of course they can't win every matchup. And your mom is kind of like a mean beatdown. And it's I don't really consider it like a meta deck. It's not good. Because it can easily be stopped. By many things. Which is okay, you know? Like, it's a very fun deck to click buttons. And just click, click, just slam a bunch of guys out. Dudes and just like hit in for game. Which is why I like playing the Master Duel sometimes, because I play it off stream, because no one wants to see me click the new raw buttons for hours. It's fucking boring. No one wants to see that shit. I'd be surprised if you want to see it. If you want to see that, you're just you're just so masochist, obviously. My viewers are all masochists. But yeah, I've been venting a long time about this game. Like, I can, like, t the tangy mana? The Tangy meta is not fun. It is absolutely the most boring meta. I think this is worse than the Amazon for Hire meta back then. This is like worse. This meta game is the worst it has ever been. The Speed Duel is alright. Like the Speed Duel I can just kind of play, just kind of just. But the problem with this, with the, I mean, the not Speed Duel, I mean Rush Duel, is it takes so long to play a match. Like. Any, any, and if you draw, you can have a good hand, and then it can turn to a shit hand, like, four turns later. And again, the problem is the... The Legend card system is pretty good, because you're not having all these broken cards. And, you know, the deck system is... <coughs> I built the new ninja relatively cheap. It was a lot of fun. I got lucky with it, so... I built the new ninja. A level three, uh... Niche little deck... It's, you can find on my YouTube channel. I made I made like a little replay, a montage of replays. Yeah, I just showed a montage of replays, and that's pretty much it. 
But yeah, I, I think my fun for this game is slowly diminishing over time. I just recently got back into it. I think the last set I stopped on... I'm trying to remember what set I stopped on before I recently got into the game. I think I stopped again at Rushstool, and then I... I think I... I think, yeah, I think I stopped. I believe here. Stopped for a few months. I came back for a little bit and then stopped. And then... I got the Archie and stuff, and then I got bored once these broken things came out. Yeah, so, like, for a while, like, I stopped for a while, and when I come back... Like, again, like, anybody who comes to my stream on Twitch or YouTube for Duel Links, if I seem pissed and not having fun, I apologize. And I don't want to rank up because I find the ranking system very boring and the, the meta is shit. And I find the meta very shit. Like, it's bad. Like, it's a bad meta game. Like, you get a bunch of different decks in Plat, but you know, like, when you get to Legend, you're gonna be facing shit like this. When you're facing Legend, you're gonna be facing stuff like this. When you're facing the Ancient Warriors, you're gonna be facing the best shit. You're gonna be facing Amazement, the this thing. We're gonna be facing a lot of it. We're gonna be facing a lot of bullshit when it goes to Legend. And my motivation for getting King of Vain for the lousy 200 gems you get is unjustified. Like, it's boring. If I got 500 gems, that'd be a different story because I can get 10 packs for that cog run. But I at least get at least 10 packs. The problem is the ranking system is extremely boring. There are no gem bonuses for... There's no reward, there's no incentive to get a high win streak at all. If there is an incentive to get win streak, as in getting double rewards or triple rewards or quadruple rewards... I would highly recommend going on a high win streak, but there's no point on a win streak. It means nothing. It's just a way to showboat, and it's not fun. Every time one of these YouTubers say, "Oh, we're gonna get a win streak or whatever," it's not. It's just not great. Like I just, I could sit here and talk about this game all day and, and my qualms with it. But at the end of the day, it is doling because I still enjoy the zero gem tournaments. And if anybody wants to enter the Zero Gem Discord, Discord I will put the link in the description um, for you all to join. Um, sorry for this rant. I just needed to vent about how much I hate this game. And I hate the metagame. And people are like, oh, just, just play the good decks. It's like, I don't want to sit there for hours fucking playing Rocket or Tangy. Like, Tangy is boring. Like, it's not a fun deck to play. In Duel Links, anyway. Like, like when access, like I said, when access code comes back, I am investing my money into that box because access code and dual links is extremely broken. This is why I want access code and true Drake, tree Draco, King Slaying Draco, because I want this game to die. I want something that pisses off the community so much that they boycott the entire game and they have to shut off the servers. Or give it a reboot or something. Because as it stands, right now, the game is extremely unfun. A lot of these decks are not fun to go against or play. They are very linear, and I find them really, really boring. So they released this set, right? What's wrong with this set? Well, if you look at it on paper... It doesn't, if you think about it as a paper perspective, it doesn't really look that good. But in Duel Links, with a 20-card deck, Ancient Warriors are the most broken deck to ever exist. They got disruptions out the ass, and nothing can stop them right now. I don't know if they put an emergency limit or something. Because these cards... Are the most annoying things you ever have. And it's either you play Ancient Warriors. Or you find a way to negate them. Or you're just dead. You draw your out. Or whatever. Or, or you're dead. That's it. That's it. It's <coughs> <coughs> the most boring shit. I hate it. It's drawing. It's like. Ugh. 
Uh, anyway, I'm just done ranting. Anyway, if you want to see more of these rants and more venting about this game that I have, I'll vent more about it. And, yeah. Anyway, bye. See y'all later. Like, comment, sub, whatever you want to do. She need to put this out.